the little Bella was just being cleaned. Uh, we don't give them a bath or anything, but she was just wiped with a cloth, with a little bit of a warm cloth, you know, with that's a bit wet, just to clean her up a little bit. And she is so beautiful. Just look at that little face. <laughs> and she's starting to talk, and she's listening to the other monkeys outside, and she's just getting ready to go and play with them. But yeah, let's take a look at the little monkeys outside. <laughs> Trappies right here. All the dogs. Chilling out. Billy over there. And Shaka. It's actually Chaka. That is how they pronounce his name. And Adwins and he was just teased by little Billy. And Billy's gonna get upset now. Buddy is over there. Dogs. And now Arthur is probably going to jump on to me again the whole time. <laughs> yes, that's what he's going to do. This is his time to jump up against me. And he knows that I can do nothing because I've got the phone in my hand. <laughs> but that little sissy, there she runs. This is the mother of the little one. <laughs> and uh, I'll get her a little later. She's very shy at the moment. Dogs are still running around playing with those toys. And uh, Arnie, what does Arnie do? Arnie eats. That is what Arnie does well. Let's see what's happening there. Got their food out. <laughs> little Lily, but this is the little bigger one. She is slightly bigger than the other Lily that looks exactly the same as she does. Let's see where is little Lily. I think she's inside, but in any case, they are just playing, it's warm today, sun is out, and uh, yeah, what can I say, I think our winter is over, I think our summer has started, buddy over here, <laughs> well, gotta get ready to start my day, and uh, Make sure everything is perfect for the tigers on the other side. We've got a few things that we want to do today. And uh, yeah, I'm going to get started. Okay, and I'm back from town. And I just had a conversation with someone about my old Porsche. And uh, I think it's time to get it up and running again. Because it's something that I've always had. And I love it to bits. It's an amazing car. And uh, yeah, I actually got that, I think it was in 1996 that I got it. And uh, yeah, I think it's time to fix it up so I can use it again. And uh, I'm going to show it to you. I just gave it a wash a bit earlier. <laughs> Diego! <laughs> and then I'm going to get the tiger's food ready. <laughs> That's something I have to know that I have to do every single day. These two boys, they're so happy to see me. And uh, yeah, they are the two naughty ones. So they are separate for now. And just look at them going over this fence that's supposed to keep them out. But, <laughs> and just look at that. Friendiest cat in the world. And she has really been growing so quick. <laughs> She's three times the size that she used to be. And little Pucky over here. All the others will come out in a few minutes. And uh, yeah, they are absolutely amazing. <laughs> well, I'm going to show you what my old Porsche looks like. Uh, the sun is just coming in from an angle here at the moment. I gave it a wash and you can hear all the dogs there in the background. But yeah, this is what I am going to be getting ready to use again. I've had it for a long time and I've missed it. It's been standing here, and we did restore it in a way. Not really restore it, but it is pretty perfect. So, <laughs> had all of these powder coating things done to it, and uh, new rubbers, and new paint, and new interior, and everything. So, 
I'm going to be sorting this car out and driving it pretty soon. Hey, and there is Turbo. He's actually been visiting the neighbors. <laughs> so, yeah. This is the next thing on my list, and that is to get this car fixed up. Little Bella inside her little... I don't know what to call a cot <laughs> and just look at that little face and she's gonna probably take a nap now look at those little back feet that's something that you don't see every day the little monkey's back feet <laughs> well she's quite warm I can feel even coming close to her you can feel the heat coming from her and uh, yeah, she's absolutely gorgeous I've had this car for 21 years and um, yeah I had it through my 20s and I loved it and uh, it wasn't always the best car in the world but I've got so many memories attached to this car and uh, it's great having it and I still got it and I did spend a lot of time on it a while ago getting it better and basically saving it. And I think it's time to take it to the next level. I think it's time to get another engine for it. I don't want to put back the original one because it is old technology and it is not fast. And I don't really need a fast car, but I want something that I can enjoy. And I think there's better things available. But I'll keep the old one and I'll put that back in, let's say, 10 years' time. So that's what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be getting this old Porsche of mine back to running condition. And uh, yeah, I wish I've done it sooner, but at least I've started. And uh, it's basically restored on the outside. But now, sometimes cats jump on your car and uh, it's okay. Because I remember a photo, I'll show you guys that photo of this car with another cat that was on that roof. And uh, yeah, I'm so glad he was on there. So yeah, check this out. Okay, and I quickly fed vegetarian cat. Uh, yeah. He's been helping himself to the cat food, and this is how he opens it up. But, yeah, he just quickly ran with me up so I could feed him, and uh, he's fed. <laughs> Tigers lying down there on the grass, they just ate as well. And I've got a few minutes to quickly make a vlog. So I'm going to finish my video for today with showing you something that I've got here. And I want to tell you a little story how this came to me. Well, like you s you've seen, I'm considering to fix up my old Porsche. And uh, I couldn't decide on the color that I wanted to make it because... Yeah, orange is kind of my favorite color and red is always nice and uh, I couldn't make up my mind but then I had no choice I got this let me just hold it up right <laughs> no that's the wrong way around that's better but it's dark already now so I can't really show you exactly what I wanted to show you, but yeah, this is my watch, and I'm not someone who really cares about things like this. I don't need an expensive watch or jewelry or things like that. It just doesn't really matter to me. It doesn't change me, and um, it's not something that I need in my life, <laughs> and I remember once right in here a gun against my head and the guy said let's go to the main bedroom and when we get there he told me listen take out the gold 
and your jewelry. <laughs> and I told him, but I don't have any. And uh, he looked at me and he was confused. Why wouldn't I have jewelry and stuff? Or gold or diamonds. And yeah, he believed me that I don't have it. You could see that I'm not lying to him. I'm telling him the truth. <laughs> so yeah, in any way, let's say I had any. It would have been gone in any way. So I think that is why I don't really care much about gold or diamonds or anything of the sort. And this watch, it's a nice watch and it's perfect for my Porsche. <laughs> and let's face it, it's got some orange in it and I like orange, especially on tigers. <laughs> but in any case, what I was trying to say, I didn't buy this watch. It came to me. While I was getting ready to decide on the color I was going to make my Porsche. Because I didn't want to make it white or silver. Because it's been those colors before. And uh, I was thinking, I just want to go for something out of the ordinary. And that is exactly what happened. Right that week when I was deciding to do that, one of my friends told me that he's got this watch and he doesn't want it anymore and he doesn't know what to do with it and uh, he wanted a watch that said golf and he got one that said golf <laughs> and that annoyed him and he didn't want it anymore and I told him you know what those are the golf colors on the car I'm considering spend, uh, to paint my car that color and he said well it doesn't mean anything to him and he asked me if I wanted it. And I said, yeah, sure. And uh, yeah, we made a quick deal there. And I've got the watch. And I got home. And it is the colors that I painted my car. It's the watch that goes with it. I'll quickly go research it. And just get back to the exact numbers. And the Monaco thing. And everything about it. Because I know that it is all linked together with the car and it's not something that just fell out of the blue actually it just did fell out of the blue <laughs> and yeah it was quite amazing it was like there is no coincidence it's just not it's too fine to be a coincidence and i got it the perfect watch with the car that goes with it the only thing is I got them 21 years apart and the time when I needed to know what color to make it that's when I got the watch well here is a better picture of it it's quite a nice watch and uh, I'm so glad I got it because it's got some meaning for me and yeah a Daisy coming to check it out <laughs> well guys thanks for watching hope you enjoyed that and like always, have a good day.